So, um, without further ado, I would like to introduce our next speaker. So, we're really, really pleased um, that we've got Councillor um, Jude Wells here with us today. So, Councillor Wells is the um, Assistant Portfolio Holder for Age Friendly Greater Manchester and Equalities, and it's a real pleasure to welcome you here today. So, thank you. so many familiar faces from a long time ago and in recent past I people know that I actually worked in the age of the world up until very recently so uh, actually, I, I'm really really grateful pleased and honoured to have the, uh, the assistant portfolio in the Greater Manchester so we can carry on the great work that you've all been doing over the last five, ten years so here I am. I love to see so many brave in the elements this morning. Um, um, yes, it's been, sorry? I believe so. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. Is that better? Yeah. I'm not known for my quietness, so <laughs> as people know, I'm getting a bit of feedback now. So if that's all right, is that okay then? Can people hear it okay? Okay. Uh, I'm delighted to be here today to celebrate five years of the Greater Manchester Old People's Network. And as you know, your voice is so important to making Greater Manchester a really great place to age well. Um, as has as been outlined, I'm Councillor Jude Wells, and I'm the Assistant Portfolio Lead for Brenda Warrington, who is the leader of Thameside Council and takes a lead across Greater Manchester or age friendly, uh, age friendly Greater Manchester. Um, the Greater Manchester Ageing Hub was set up in 2016 uh, by the Greater Manchester Combined Authority. So it's one of the first things that the authority did. And it was to coordinate a strategic response to the opportunities and challenges of an ageing population in our city region, of which we have 10 local authorities. And we wanted to make sure that all the people's voices were part of this. Our key aim in the ageing court is to make Greater Manchester more age friendly, and that's why we have events like we have today. We're doing this to bring together colleagues across the combined authority, local authorities, health and social care, universities, housing providers, and other, other public sector organisations. And some of them will be joining us later today with the law office of people have talked significantly about transport, so obviously we have TFGM here with us this afternoon. The voluntary sector are, are very active, have a very active role to play in, in, in Greater Manchester, supporting the age friendly agenda, and lots of other groups like the GM All the People's Network, of which you are members, and it's fantastic to see, see so many of you here today. We're very proud of our clo close working relationships with the network, and it's allowed us to enable all the people across Greater Manchester to really influence and shape the agenda. It's great that Liz, your network development officer, spends a day a week in the ageing hub and they're able to share your views and partner with us in that way so we get the voice of all the people really solid within that team. You know about the demographics and we should celebrate the demographics in, in Greater Manchester because people are living more than living well. And by 2041, it's estimated, and wait for this figure because it's quite a big figure, 630,000 people, which is just over a fifth of the population, will be over the age of 65 across Greater Manchester. And that group of people are going to be more diverse with growing numbers of BME groups. So we've got you know, a real celebration of that. We are a a ginormous, I count myself in that, I'm nearly 60 now, so I do count myself in that, in terms of the fact that we are a voice for change in Greater Manchester, and you know, seeing yourselves here today, shaping that agenda is fantastic. So your recommendations and insights and the stuff you've been talking about this morning, such as transport, health, housing and social care, uh, in, uh, are shaping and informing the refresh of the Age Friendly Greater Manchester programme, because that's an ongoing programme that refreshes ever so often, hears the things that matter to people and makes sure that we're acting on behalf of the, of the people in Greater Manchester. So we want to thank you for all your hard work and turning up at events like this and giving you very solid and strong opinions about what's working and what's not working, because I think that's really important. 
<coughs> and age friendly Greater Manchester is one of ten key priorities for our city region and we have made good progress over the last three years in raising the profile of ageing. I hope people think that that's the case across Greater Manchester agencies. That narrative of age friendly is impacting on everything we do in the strategies across, across the ten key areas. Um, so we've been so grateful to have Elaine Unepo, thank you Elaine for being with us, from your action group as a key member of our steering group. Elaine gives us an update on the network each month and feeds into the age friendly work we are doing across the city region. So you've got a really valuable role as the voice of the network. Earlier this month, I don't know whether there were some of you in the room who joined us at the uh, Science and Interesting Museum to celebrate the 53 neighbourhoods that have been recognised as age friendly. That was a fantastic day, and that's part of the Mayor's Challenge, and, and there, were, there was a fantastic group of people joined us from all over Greater Manchester to celebrate the work that you've been doing around age friendly communities in your, in your neighbourhoods. So about 200 people were at the Ambition for Aging event to receive their awards, share their experience, networking and looking how we can share the learning across all our different neighbourhoods and that's one of the really strong things I think about that network is that how we work, share best practice, look at what other people are doing and work collectively across our areas to de deliver and develop real age friendly neighbourhoods. So I, I think it's great that we're all part of this social movement of age crowd activists, and we do call ourselves activists, but we are active. <coughs> the voice is very active. We challenge, we sit in meetings, and we represent the voice of older people. So I think that's fantastic, and we are changing attitudes in the city region. So we've highlighted some of the key areas on in the next stage of work, and we'd be interested in your thoughts. So things around increasing employment among people in mid, mid and later life is a big issue. Certainly, it's one that's been in my on my radar for a number of years. Economic opportunities of ageing population, including developing services and goods that better meet the needs of older people. And then a focus on active ageing to promote social connections, participation and phys physical activity and fun. So we've heard about social isolation, we've heard about the fact that we can use things like sport and moving and walking groups to actually really help connect people in our communities. And we, we want to continue to build age-friendly places with a focus on integrated public services. Accessible transport, that's a very, very, very strong thing this morning that we've heard from you. And the homes that meet older people's needs and neighbourhoods that feel safe and inclusive across the generations. So I, we know that older people are influencing the agenda and Mayor Andy Burnham will be joining us later today to hear the things that matter to us. So I thank you for helping us on behalf of the team at Age Friendly and Brenda Warrington who, who can't be here today but has asked me to deputise for her. So we, we thank you for all the work you're doing to make Greater Manchester the best place in the UK to grow older. So thank you very much for your, for your time. Thank you Councillor Jude. Um, it's lunchtime, folks. Don't all rush at once. <laughs> um, please remember to visit the marketplace and see the people there for more information about what's going on in Greater Manchester. And please go and put your dot on the questions that you'd like to put. Please just one dot for each question, um, and we will reconvene at half past one. And remember, the fire alarm test is at one twenty-five. So when you hear the fire alarm test. That's your sound to come back into the room, please. Thank you.